Hello everyone. Uh, this week I finally started working on the Sanderson sisters and of course I have started with Winifred. So um, I wasn't sure how she's going to look at the beginning as I started working on it. But I'm really tickled with how it turned out. So let's just get on to the video and let you all see how she's turned out. I'm going to start um, with making Winifred. And I've already done a couple of steps um, of course, like I said in the last video, I have bought three of these, or no, I bought four of these actually, um, and I've done took one out of the box, and I've already cut her hair to where I can make her a new wig, and I, I watch uh, a lot of doll pa uh, painters on YouTube, and I will post a link to one of my favorites who does this technique in a lot of her videos. Um, she makes her own hair out of yarn, so I've just picked a color that I think will be good. Um, and actually, i got to get a little bit of yellow because Winifred's hair has a little bit of yellow around the hairline, so I need to grab that here in a minute. But I'll go ahead and just start with the red part, and the way I've got this, it looks really cool. Now... Um, this is uh, just little pieces of yarn, and I'll post a link to her video. Uh, I call her Poppin'. Um, that's just what I always call her, is Poppin'. And uh, I can't remember where she's from, but she sounds like a vampire when she talks. And of course, I say that as a compliment. I'm not saying that to be mean. I actually love her accent. But I will post a video of her, uh, uh, or uh, I'll post a link of her video under this one so you all can watch hers um so i just uh this is a little shorter than i normally do it well normally i, I can't say normally because i've never done this before but um let me cut one a little bit longer well that's more than a little but uh i just take a string and i put it on like this just feed it through that loop and you've got your two pieces hanging down and that's what I've done here but after I get it on here I go through and I just sort of twist it. You know, it's it twists uh, in one direction. So I want to twist it the opposite direction that it's wanting to go. And then that just kind of helps you pull that apart. And you just want to pull. It's like three little pieces or four little pieces creating a string of yarn. And you just want to pull those apart. All right, so I've got that done. And actually, this is a little bit longer, as you can see from these others. And the longer that is, the harder that is to separate those little uh, parts. But um, I made these shorter because it's not a very big doll and it didn't really need to be too long. Now, on the back, I've left just a little bit of those uh, roots sticking out. And that'll just help me glue uh, this hair down. But um, this looks really cool the way it is, but I don't think her hair was really that uh, uh, kinky or that curly. So I'm going to comb that out and straighten it out a little bit just using this little fine brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I don't know if it's like for uh, wool or if it's like a cat brush. I really don't know. But... Um, I'm just going to comb this out till it gets straighter. And I've watched Poppin do it a lot, so I don't know. This is my first time. I feel like I'm going to comb it so much that it's there's nothing left of it. <laughs> so I uh, 
I made sure I put more on here than what I actually needed. Because I knew it was going to pull a lot out. And I might still be able to use this if I need it. But this is supposed to... Straighten it out. It's looking like a mess right now. Alright, so I went off camera to finish that because I knew I was like shaking the camera too much. But uh, this is what I've come up with. And it she makes it look so much easier. Um, I guess this is pretty much, it looks like troll hair. Um, but that's exactly what I was trying to get. Well, I mean, not troll hair, but I mean, just this texture that it's got now. It's just more straighter look. And I've got rid of all that little uh, waviness or that little perm look. So, um, <laughs> I will start gluing this down um, and creating her little hair. Which, I mean, I'm just in an awkward position. I mean, when I sit up here better, I'm just leaned back trying to watch it in the uh, uh, camera. But there she's got like a little beehive going on. But anyway, I'm going to just start gluing this down. And to start this, you just want to snip it off. And actually, this that I combed out, that would be good too. If I don't want this, this is a little, maybe I got it too straight. I actually like what I've combed off of it better and might just use that. But it's such a tiny little doll. It's going to be so hard to, um, you know, do this. And plus, I don't have experience with dolls much i've made a couple of things before but um, i'm just gonna have to you know work with it and try to get the hang of it because this is just not really something i do a lot all right so i'm going to start with uh the tacky glue and i'm just going to put it all over her head just where the original hairline was. I'm gonna put quite a bit on here. And I'm not gonna do this part exactly like uh, the other people on YouTube. Since this is so little, I'm just going to kinda um, slap it all on there at one time, but, uh, well, see, I don't know what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to separate what I've combed. I thought I was going to use this, but I think I do want to use what I've combed out here. And I'm going to make some of it lay this direction. coming this away and I may put a little extra glue to make sure it holds I, I, I can uh, let this dry and pull this away and then as I pull it away I can add more later, but I'm not going to pull anything off yet. I'm going to let this dry really good. And then I'm just going to lay this part over here on this side. I kind of want it to have a part in the middle. So I'm just, that's why I've done it two different directions. 
but I'm going to let that dry really good and then I'll pull away what doesn't hold and then I'll kind of secure it better and maybe just put another layer on it but I'm just going to keep building it up till I feel like it's covered enough but keep going two directions so that it'll have sort of a part in it and then later when I style it I will bring it up and style it but um I'm just going to leave her like that till she's completely dry. Now one thing I've been doing is I've kind of took my finger, well I actually took um, the tip of my scissors and I just kind of punched it down a little bit. I put a little bit of glue on the very top and I was just kind of working it around with the tip of the scissors. And then as it's drying, I've been taking my fingers and just sort of molding that to make sure it stays rounded uh, and just kind of pressing that glue into those roots um, and it's kind of dry to the touch now I mean you can still see it's not dry completely but it's dry enough to where I can just sort of shape it and make sure it's staying in the shape of her head um, so I'm just gonna keep letting that dry it's actually looking pretty cute already um, I know it's going to turn out pretty good, but then, of course, here's this big piece there. I'll come back. I'm, I think I'm going to add more to it, and I may go ahead and do that because it's uh, dry enough to form it and shape it. So I'm just going to put a little more glue here and attach this just like I did the first layer. All right, so one thing that I forgot was um, I didn't put the blonde on here like I was wanting to. So I went around her hairline with the tiniest little bit of glue uh, using this little pen. I just smeared a little bit of glue and then I've pressed this uh, yellow hair down. And once that's dry, I'll flip it back and just brush it in with the orange hair. And of course, a lot of this will be cut off, but it will, once it dries... Uh, it'll just be combed back and it's really it looks crazy but I just know it's going to work out but um, I just wanted to show that I've got that put in there and uh, I just got to wait for it to dry and then I'll flip it back and then we'll style it and cut it but also I've took her eyebrows off because I don't think Winifred has eyebrows um, so I've went on there with some fingernail polish remover and just wiped those away so I'm gonna start while this is all drying I'm probably gonna start painting her little face well I decided not to fool with the hair but um, I will show you these fabrics that I've got for the costume now this is going to be her cape or not her cape but her she's got like a jacket and uh i'll post the little picture here but um she's got her skirt which will be this and the jacket will be this and then she's got like a purple piece and that's what this will be now this is really um photographing different on the camera this looks almost like a bluish purple um, but in real life this is almost more uh, magenta I mean not really magenta but there's more of a pinker hue to it than I mean it's just completely different on screen from what I'm seeing here but of course her jacket wasn't this bright it, it was just sort of a tie-dye look and so what I did is I took a piece of this and I've give it this uh, tie-dye look and I actually did this I mean that's a big difference from this to this but this looks more accurate this is what I'm going to make her little uh, coat from and I've just completely soaked this with water and then I just mixed in, just with my fingers, you can sort of see like a little uh, blue-purple tint to my skin. 
but that's where I had dyed this earlier. I just put some of that acrylic paint on my fingers, and as this was really wet, I just sort of smeared it around and just wadded this up a little bit. And I did that with a purple paint and a green paint, just so it would have sort of a tie-dye look. And then um, this color... Um, oh wait, now the, well, there's one more thing about this. This is going to be the, uh, the coat. And then her skirt, this is a piece of that that I've just, I got this completely wet. And then I dripped a little bit of purple paint and then just took my brush as this was completely wet. And I just brushed it all the way back and forth when it was completely soaking wet. And it just kind of gave me this little ombre uh, effect where it just kind of faded out into the green. So that's going to be her skirt. I think her dress, this will go up on her bodice and over the shoulders. Um, and then it comes down into the skirt. So that's her dress. This will be the cape over the dress. And there's a little purple piece um, that goes right down the front of her dress all the way from her chest down to the floor um, and I can't even find the piece but I took a piece of this and I dyed that um, oh here it is all right so this is the color that I have now now here you can tell that's purple and this one's more blue I, I took this fabric and I dyed that with a blue acrylic and it, even in real life this looks purple in real life this looks the way this looks on camera and it's just so weird how things do and that's just like when i'm working with real uh, costumes i always um, when i'm trying to make something look authentic i will take my phone and take pictures of uh, fabric before i buy it just to make sure it matches up. Uh, and that's just like this. This is all I had. So I had to take the paint and just sort of tie-dye this stuff myself um, to make it look more like the, like the dress in the movie. Um, so anyways, I will... Still waiting on this. I may go layer outside because it's a really hot day and I think it'll dry quicker if I lay her outside, because this stuff dried, it was like dripping in water, and it took like 30 minutes, or about an hour, um, and this is like really dry now. Alright, so I've got, I'm not going to show every little thing, or how I do every little thing, but I've just come up with this shape. I've just sat here playing with a piece of fabric, just a rectangle, where I have folded it, held it up to her, and I've just kind of snipped it, cut it in places where I think it needs to come down, uh, cut out for the sleeves, and just having some experience in making costumes like I have, um, I've just kind of known what to do here, but, um, and then anyway, I've come up with this shape, and I'm using another doll, one of the other dolls for my model, while the other one's hair is drying. But I've come up with this little top. And I'm, I'm actually going to do a lot of gluing. I'm not going to sew a whole lot of this. I'm just going to take this little shape. And then just sort of glue it. Around her. Because I just feel like that will be a lot easier than sewing. Now when it comes to sewing. I cannot sew. Uh, doll clothes. I mean, I just don't have the patience for making doll clothes. So getting to glue a lot of this is really going to help. Um, but that right there looks really good. I mean, just again, I've had experience in making real clothes. So I just kind of know what shape to cut stuff. But, um, w you know, if you're making a doll outfit, you're just going to have to kind of play with it till you come up with something you like. So once I get this glued down, and I, I can't go crazy here and like attach it to this one because this is not the one you know that's going to be Winifred but of course I guess I could always change the head 
but um, I, I just don't. These heads are really hard, and I'm afraid if I try to pull that off, it'll break that little piece that holds it to the body. So I'm not even going to try to take the heads off. Um, so I'm just going to have to, uh, you know, still waiting on that hair to dry. I'm just really impatient. I'm not really impatient. I'm just excited, and I just can't wait to get it going. But um, so I've came up with this. And then this little skirt that I've cut, it's a little bit long. Because if I put it at her waist, it's way longer than her feet. So I just, I, I could cut some more of this off up here. But um, I'm going to actually bring it. I may do a little hand sewing, put a stitch across the top to where I can gather it and then draw it up around her waist. And I'm actually going to keep the opening in the front. So I went and got her from outside, and I was right. As soon as I took her out, it didn't take long for that to dry. So um, I'm going to just kind of pull this up and then just sort of comb it back a little bit. And... I'm going to try to just comb out some of that loose hair. I don't really care if I comb it because I'm going to keep most of that in there anyway. Like I'm going to glue it. Whatever style I come up with, I'm going to either hairspray it or glue it in place. Um, and I don't want this blonde to be that uh noticeable like that's a little too blonde and i think once it's all styled and done i can go in with like some of my paint or something maybe even my little chalk stuff and just um tone that down and see i've got it glued too far on her head i don't like that at all i'm gonna press that up and I'll have to go back in later with glue. I'm actually going to purposely pull some of this out because I just don't want that blonde to be that noticeable. I kind of wished I wouldn't have put the blonde in there at all. <laughs> I'm going to end up sitting here until I've got it all just picked out. I should have just left it with the uh, uh, red and not worried about it. Because I could have went in there with my yellow coloring and just brushed in some uh, blonde uh, roots. I'll leave a little bit of blonde. I like just a very subtle... I like that. I think I can work with this now. But um, that'll look good once I get it done. I think that's going to look pretty cute. But um, I'd like to have a dollar for every time I say cute. But, um, yeah, it'll look okay. I don't know if the hairline is right. I feel like I need to glue some down. Maybe the forehead's a little too big. I don't know. I'm not really worried about the hair now. I just want to work with this little dress. I'll do this hair later. But anyways, I'm going to try to get her head through this hole here. I'm actually wanting to just get her dress on. I may not put her uh, jacket on yet, but I just want to at least get the dress done. So I've got this on her, and that's how that looks. And I love how that goes in uh, and shows the shape of her body. Um, whoops. So I've got all this glued on, and it's already dry. It didn't take that long. And then for the skirt... Uh, it's just a little, the back of it is that little piece that I painted, and then I've just stitched in a piece of that purple, 
Uh, and again, to me on my screen, it looks blue, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, I think it looks pretty good. And I'm just trying to match it up, like I said, to the colors of how it really was. And I didn't even hem the bottom. I don't mind it being a little bit frayed. Um, I may go through with some fray check. Uh, well, no, that usually will leave a... Uh, stain um, at the bottom or wherever you put it. So I'm real picky about using fray check. But anyway, I've got uh, that little piece of purple stitched in there like that. And I'm just going to, I've got this part sticking up a little bit higher because this is going to go kind of up over her uh, chest. And I'm just going to slip her down in here. And I've went around it with a little stitch. So I'm just going to pull this up on her to where that will draw up. And go right around her waist. And I'm just going to have to work with it because I don't know about this really. I'm just going to have to play with it. Now, I left this up high because I was wanting to um, fold that down. I didn't want to fold it down yet because I was just waiting to see. But I'm going to probably take it back off and fold it. And then see there, that looks pretty awesome. So I'm now that I see the size of it, I'm going to take it off before I pull it real tight and actually attach it. I'm just going to go over here and iron this down. So this is what I've come up with. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Now, it, it looks kind of odd. I mean, you know, she, I guess it looks odd because she's got a sleeveless top. But, of course, once I get her little jacket made and put on, it's going to look pretty good. And I actually really like it. Now, this might be a little too wide, the purple. But I know that's supposed to be kind of tucked uh, back in like this comes around. And it could just be that I've got the skirt flared out. But um, I think it looks pretty good. And then, of course, it's got to have... I'm going to take a gold uh, thread and zigzag it and kind of pull this together a little bit better. Because I know that's supposed to have like a little gold zigzag so I'll do that but I'm going to um I guess I need to go look for some gold thread but her hair's kind of bugging me I'm probably going to want to do her hair pretty soon and get it up out of the way um especially before I do too much to the uh jacket because I know I've got to also remember there's a little piece of hair like a little curl a little ringlet type thing I don't know where it comes from but I know it comes from the back and it just kind of hangs down so I have to remember to leave a little piece down when I fix it up and I absolutely hate this blonde I'm just going to pull all that out because that's just really throwing me off I'm not getting Winifred vibes from that now, just real thin like that. That looks good. Now, if I just had a little bit over here, it'd be looking really good. But um, I may take some of that and glue just a little bit over here. But I'm not going to worry about the blonde. I'll probably most likely use some of my coloring to go in there at the end and color that. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. All right, so now I've got my little... Uh, crisscross done and this looks so bad but you know all this little messy stuff going on here is going to get covered up by this jacket or I hope it gets covered up by the jacket and I, I used a little silver thread now I'm going to straighten this up better but um, I just used a silver thread because I didn't have gold but I think that will be okay so um I've got this little coat made, 
Uh, it's sleeveless. Now the sleeves are going to go on separate just because I don't have the patience to sew on sleeves. But I've just made up this little coat. And I'm going to go ahead and try to slip this on. I think I'll put the coat on first. Um, and I'm going to glue, kind of glue all this down. You know, if I like it, I'm going to make sure it looks okay. Um, a lot of times when I make dog clothes, the, the ones that I have made, I get the sleeve holes way too little. But, um, eh, I think it's going to look okay. I don't hate it. I, I'm the type that I've just got to, uh, I've just got to fool with it. I think that looks pretty cute. Now I'm going to either tack it or sew it, tack it or sew it, tack it with a stitch or glue it in place um, probably sew it I'll probably put a little stitch on it but I, since I didn't hem these edges I just want to make sure I get those little threads snipped off but um, that is her and see I, I can't stand the sleeves not being on it now the sleeve is made like this and it actually will go this away and I've just got to try to make that look good. I think it's going to be doable. Uh, it's just going to take a little time just sitting here and just poking things where they need to go. And um, getting it all tacked in place. Because I don't ever plan on taking these clothes off of these. Um, once they're owned, they're going to be owned for good. So I'm just going to sit here and just kind of work with these to get them the way I want it. And I think it's going to look really cool. Now this is uh, where I'm at. And I think it's looking okay. But there's certain things like all kinds of little tiny things that I'm wanting to do. Uh, the sleeves look pretty crummy the way I've stitched them on there. But I think, and I've just glued... Um, the collar on but I think once it's all done I think it's going to look okay I mean it ain't great but if, again I'm not a doll maker so um, these little pieces where it's stitched I want to actually glue those down so that they're flat and um, you know she's got these two little decorative uh, belt little clasp here where her uh, jacket will hook together and what I've got is this little sequin trim I may use these little sequins as her little belt thing her little uh, closures and then of course she's got all this decorative detail that I will put around here probably just by hand painting all that but um, I'm just going to sit here and decorate this for a little bit and then come back, glue all these little pieces down, get it all fixed up the way I want it. And I've got a piece of tape on the front because these little gold strings kept flipping up all the way up here. They didn't want to lay down, so I'm just trying to train those to uh, go down. I may be able to wet those and keep them down. But I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and just clean it up uh, and fix it up a little bit and see what I can do with it okay so I've got my little uh, metallic folk art paint and I'm just gonna go and draw some little decorations around her sleeve now I'm not going to worry about um, making this perfect I'm just going to make random little uh, swirly designs just little dots I'm not going to get too detailed with that I just want something here just to have that decoration and plus I don't want any kind of real symbols 
So something just like that is really looking cute. And um, it's really all you got to do with it. Now you can get way more detailed and actually do the decorations that she actually has. But I just like this little swirl design. And I'm pretty sure she has um, something coming down the back. And I'm just going to have to look and see if it is something down the back. I don't want to do it if the back was plain. But I'm pretty sure the back of her jacket has something on it. But I've got it pinned up right here right now. And I actually really, the more you do to this, or the more I'm doing to this, uh, the better it's looking. I started out wondering if it was going to look good at all. Well, I started out thinking this is going to look good. And then I started doing it and just wasn't really happy with any of it. Um, but, I, you know, when you're making something, sometimes it doesn't always look good until it's done. So, you know. The more you do to it, the better it looks. And, it, and when it's something you've never done before and you're not sure about it, then sometimes you just have to stop for a little bit, look away and come back to it. Like if you start getting burned out on it. So I think it's looking super, super duper. So I can't wait to get this done. And I'm just going to let this part dry. I just didn't want this to touch the side of her jacket, so that's why I've got it pinned up. So I'm just going to do what I can here. Um, oh, and uh, now the front looks really weird. I mean, it's pulled apart right here. I gotta, it's just coming off her shoulder, but um, I kind of wished I'd have done better with the hemming up the side here but I'm just gonna go do some little designs down the front um, I've added her collar I don't know if I showed that in the last clip and then I've added these little decorations here I've made her a necklace just using some little seed beads so I've got that on her um, and the face is really throwing me off. Of course, that hair is kind of crazy. That and the face. I cannot wait to uh, start working on the face. But uh, something else I've got. This is like a glitter. I'm going to go over this with this glitter um, once this is dry. Just to give it some more detail. Because I like the sparkles. I think the sparkles will look really good. Okay, guys. So I have changed up a couple of things. Um, I need to try to keep my uh, background clear. Because I noticed it tries to focus on things in the background. So I'm going to need to clear all this off here in a minute. But um, I changed this little bead in the center. It was gold. And when I was looking back at her costume, I noticed there's green. There's a little green snake or something in the center. Well, I think it's a little gold snakes with a green jewel. Um, and then I switched out the silver with this gold rope, which looks way better. And it's got a little more weight to it. So it actually hangs down. Um, so I've been trying to tweak it and fix it better. Um, I love her necklace. Um, I finished the gold around the sleeves. Um, so what I'm going to do now is try to paint her face. And it's just got two little things that needs to be done to the face. I guess I'm going to start with her cheeks first. And I don't know if that's pink enough. I may want that a little bit pinker. I want to be, I want to sort of exaggerate her little pink cheeks. So, um, I'm going to start with a pink. And then put just a little bit of red 
in there. Making sure I don't have paint on my hands. I want that to be a little more red. Now, sometimes her cheek makeup looked real noticeable, and sometimes it's not that noticeable. But I want this on the doll to be pretty, pretty, pretty rosy looking. And I'm not trying to make it look perfect, but I don't know how well that shows up in a picture or on the screen. But it looks pretty good in real life. I don't think I want to go any darker or any different than what I've got it. I'm already happy with how that looks. It may show up better in the pictures. I've, I just know this light sort of uh, does something weird to it. But for the lips... Now, of course, I've done took her eyebrows off. And I, I'm i not sure what her eye color is. I, she may actually have brown eyes. I'm going to have to check her eye color. But for the lips, I'm just going to do a little heart shape. Just that right there. Um, maybe a little bit more. I don't want to get that too big. I don't know. I'm afraid to touch it. I think that looks perfect. All right. So I looked up the internet, uh, and it says that she has gray eyes, which I thought was really odd because I didn't know that. But, um... I'm just going to try and cover her eyes with some gray. I mixed a little brown with this. So, because uh, I, I thought her eyes were brown. Like a, I don't know what color I thought they were. I, something was making me think they were blue. Then I thought they were brown. Maybe that's why they're gray. Because they're, they're not either one. But, um. All right, so to start the hair, uh, or to try to get it the way I want it, I've tried to part it into two even uh, points, and I think the way I want to do it is I want to try to keep it sort of flat, because um, I'm going to roll them down, so I want them to be sort of flat. I don't want them twisted into a twist or anything. And I'm just going to put some glue in here and hopefully just roll it downward the way I'm wanting it to be and I know that looks like a mess right now but I'm just going to take it and I don't know if I can do this uh, if she was on a stand, it'd be a lot easier. I may have to take this off camera to do it, but I'm going to try to do it right here. Like this. But I'm just going to roll it down like that. And I may have to go off camera just so I can hold this better. And then I'm just going to twist or roll this side the same way just twist it in till I get them in the center the way I want them so let me just do it off camera cuz I I can tell I'm not gonna get this done good if I don't alright so here she is and I actually I've left her little rat tail hanging down and I've even put little earrings in there and I'm not really sure about the earrings because you know on a lot of a lot of times when you see Barbies and stuff they'll have what they call a uh, green ear and that's where people have put pins in their ears and that pin through the years will create this green uh, I don't know it just makes their the plastic turn green or the vinyl 
so hopefully that won't do that and uh, I guess it, it could always be changed out with new ones if it does seem to uh, start that but I've got some glue on her chest here I'm just going to try to scratch that off and I think she's looking really awesome now there's one more thing I'm going to put this little uh, gold glitter stuff down where all these little decorations are but there's uh, one more thing I want to do to the face and of course I want to paint her shoes black because I can't handle those white shoes but the hair is super cute now I'm going to probably go over that with hairspray a little bit just to keep it in that set but I just had to go off camera to get them rolled down it's basically like putting a curler in your hair you just curl it down um, but I think it looks so good I'm really uh, excited with how this looks but I'm just going to take a little bit of black and just water it down and go right above the top of her um, eyes because I feel like she needs just a little bit of like a eyeshadow and I just want to use just the tiniest amount I'm going to test it on my fingernail. Um, I'm probably going to hold her up like this. Just because you can paint a little bit easier when it's this direction. When you're trying to get close to an eye. I don't know if this is going to help it or hurt it, but actually I think that looks really cute. It just gives it more depth or more dimension, um, but that looks really good. I like it. I'm going to go a little bit more over on this side. And I hate not being able to look at my pictures, like look at my phone. That looks really cute. That just gave her eyes a little more uh, detail. Um, now, other than going over the uh, gold parts, I don't really know what else she needs. I don't know if I'm lacking something or what. You know that little rat tail that hangs down there? I didn't notice that till just recently. I didn't know that was a thing. Now back here I got some paint uh, where I didn't mean to so I can just touch that up with some green or something. But I think she's just super duper cute. Uh, I'm going to check on the pictures, see if there's anything that I need to do other than putting the glitter on here. Um, and then I'll get her set up and we'll see how she looks in the pictures. Alright, so I have taken so many pictures and so many videos of this little doll since I've got it done. Well, I've not got it done. I've had it on this little pedestal spinning around, you know, taking these cute little videos of it spinning around, showing the whole thing, talking about it. And every time I look at it, I realize that I have forgotten some. So uh, first, I have added this little purple tool to her sleeves because I felt like it needed something hanging down out from under this and also I just remembered she is supposed to have some uh, rings on her hands I know her right hand has two rings which I'm gonna sit here and paint these right now um, the right hand has two and her left hand has three three in the middle, all three fingers. Um, I'm just gonna real carefully just paint these two rings. I know they're on these two fingers on the right hand. And then I don't know if that shows up, but it may show up better in the pictures. And then on the other hand, 
which now her little sleeve will be getting in the way, but all three of the middle fingers And I think that is the last step. I thought I'm just gonna turn this camera on and do it right here. I don't know why I'm facing the camera towards me, but um, I got a little bit on her other fingers, but I can take and scratch that away once it's dry. But um, now I've just got to make sure that sleeve doesn't flop over. So I put a piece of tape, just some scotch tape there to hold that sleeve back while that dries. But um, I think you can sort of tell the uh, rings and that looks better. Every, every little detail you do just looks better. And uh, I don't know, I think it's done. I'll, I'm sure I'll go back to doing more pictures. I deleted all the pictures that I took and um, I'm sure I will take a bunch more. And then again, realize I've forgotten something. But if she's forgetting something this time, she's just going to have to go ahead and get the pictures done with or without it. So anyways, I think I'm ready to take the pictures. And I think she's turned out really cute. Um, and I just think that that just makes me happy that she's got something purple hanging out of her sleeves here. Because I know that was something that was a part of her outfit. So now once that dries... I'll get the pictures done and we'll check her out and see how she looks with the house. All right, now let's get one final look. Now, um, I've done some more to her since I finished it, you know, since I thought earlier in the video that it was finished. Um, I've given her her famous little teeth. Me and my friend was talking about it and I thought, how could I not give her those little teeth? Um, I think she's just turned out amazing. I'm so happy with this. Um, it's just so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, uh, and of course, she's got her two little brooms. Her first broom that gets taken by the little trick-or-treaters. And then the more modern broom that she gets later on. Um, but here's the final look at her. Well, the final look will be here in the pictures um, she looks really cute in the house, so I will now show you how the pictures turned out. 